Right guys, it's time to start polishing the Porsche. So, the machine of choice, Udos 51E. I'm going to use a Udo micro wall pad, and I'm gonna use two modes, just two modes on this particular car. Rotary option for the heavier cut, and then a P2 15 mil for the lighter sort of defects. So what I've noticed, there's some deeper marks still left over. But we've removed a lot of the swells. So I'm gonna clean it down with alcohol, remove the residue of compound. So if we, you can see that it's not got swells there now. If we go down this way, there's the swell still. Captured the swells. Ashley's managed to capture them on the camera. But we've not got swells up here, but what I can see, we have some deeper marks, deeper marks left. Remember, that's one pass with the micro wall pad. We've got these deeper marks. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch the UDOS into rotary mode. Because this UDO pad has been designed to be able to run in rotary, and dual action. I'm now gonna switch it into rotary. I'm gonna use it as a rotary machine to cut those deeper marks. So I'm gonna spread the compound uniformly. And this time around, I'm gonna tackle those in a different manner. I'm gonna use the rotary mode. I can see one more, very, very shallow. I'm gonna just go back over. So, what we'll do, I'm gonna wipe it again with the alcohol, clean the surface. Now I can see holograms, buffer lines, which you would. But of course, it's gonna be really easy just to turn that back into mode two, P2, 15 mil or 12, with the same pan and compound or remove those holograms. So let's, let's see if we can capture the hologram. You can just pick up, there you go. There's the holograms from the rotary action. But what we haven't now got is the defects themselves. As you can see, it's fixed those marks. Now, what's again unique about the UDOS 51E is in that one machine had the ability to switch. You can see that DA, the dual action mode in P2, which is 15 mil orbit, the UDOS 51E managed to correct most of the normal swells. But the deeper marks were still there. Instead of now putting this down, changing the pads, changing the compound, going over and picking a new machine up, I simply could turn the collar and put it into rotary mode. Now, it's your choice if you would go over this hood first with rotary and then what's left over would re refine or would you go with a dual action first? That's just preference. I'm actually gonna go over dual action because I find it'd be more sensible in my opinion. Go over it in 15 mil orbit with this micro wall pad with a heavy cut compound and then what's left over, I could tackle in small little localized areas in the rotary section. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna carry on going. I'm gonna go back to the P2 into P2, evenly spaced blobs of the heavy cut compound. And then what it means is I can just get, go from one area to another. It's a very efficient way of polishing.
So guys, all the corrections finished on the paintwork. All the correction, it's all done. I have one headlight left to do, which we're gonna go on to in a minute, which has got this yellowness. The other side is all polished, but it's fully corrected. So a quick, quick recap. I used the Udo pads, the, as it says there, the micro wall cutting pad, the Udos 51E, and I went from rotary mode to P2 mode. So that was the rotary cutting action to the 15 mil orbit. And with one pad, one heavy cut compound, we've been able to go and do the correction and then refining down. Last part to be polished, machine corrected. This headlight, which got this horrible overspray, join lines, faded, sort of yellow staining. So. I'm going to correct it with the Udos 51E. So as before with the paintwork, I'm going to stick to a formula that I know. So I'm going to stick with the micro wall pad, small amount of compound. I'm going to do it in small sections at a time. Now, I can go into rotary mode. It's plastic. And hopefully you'd understand that rotary generates more heat. It's just a more vicious action, cutting action. Same as P3. So I'm gonna to stick to 15 mil. I'm just gonna take time. The other headlight has worked perfectly fine by just going over and over and over and over and repeat the process really. But let's, let's crack on. I can already see an improvement. What it does do is when you start polishing, you do like, it starts to highlight where it's really bad, where it's good. So I'll start it up the top. It's lovely and cold, hasn't got hot. So I'm gonna do it step by step. Now, some people wet sand headlights. I've, um, I've seen people wet sand and then clear coat and re in the headlights. This isn't in for that type of job. It's in for just a normal correction, but because this is quite easy, I can make a vast improvement without getting them 100%. So I'm just gonna carry on cracking them. Stepping stones, gradual steps. I can see the clarity's getting there there. From the angle I'm standing now, I can really see how bad this is and how good this is. There's a boundary edge that needs polishing more. But like I said, just really take your time. They're not hot. And just gradually correct it. You'll get there in the end. Even though the paintwork is polished, there's still more to be done. In the next episodes, I'm going to show you how I dramatically improved the old yellowed plastic rear window. I'll also demonstrate how to remove some really deep scratches that someone's vandalised, unfortunately, and damaged the glass. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.